All right, I'm going to do a real quick video here on the issue of did the Jesuits create the pre-trib rapture? Now, this is one of the things that the posties will come out with. They'll say, that's the Jesuits. The Jesuits created futurism. They've created the pre-trib rapture. And you say, really? Uh, what's, what's your proof of that? Well, there was a Jesuit named, uh, you know, Juan Yosefat Ben Ezra, or uh, also his real name was Manuel de Lucunza. So he created it. You know, I've even heard some of these dumb nitwits. They say it was two Jesuits. No, it's one. And he was using a pseudonym. I'll show you that here in just a minute. And I had uh, Sam Adams from Scam Adams, uh, if we like to call him, from down in Florida, uh, posty replacement theology, you know, the whole deal. He's a real posty too. He's not just like an Anderson posty that's, you know, post trade pre-wrath, you know, and whatever. No, he believes you go through the whole thing, the whole way, you know. Body Christ gets caught up right before the second coming, you know. The divine U-turn, boom, back down. But, uh, yeah, he sent me this thing years ago, and, you know, you need to read this. It'll prove your pre-trib rapture doctrine was taught by Jesuit. You know, it was it was a whole thing was written by the Jesuits, because this came out before, supposedly, I guess, before uh, the whole John Nelson Darby thing. So Darby got it from the Jesuits and all this. And, uh, you know... I had it and just, okay, well, I'll have to get to it. Because it's, it's, I think the first volume one is almost 400 pages. And I thought, well, I'll, you know, I'll try to get around to doing that sometime. And the other day I thought, well, I, I should get to, to, you know, reading this thing. And um, so I just started reading a little bit of it and uh, got to the preface. And, and I thought, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> it just, it's post-trib. This Jesuit created the post-trib thing. I shouldn't say created, but he, he's writing about post-trib. I'll show you the proof here. First of all, we have, I'll put up this thing on screen so you can see it. This is the actual title page, The Coming of Messiah and Glory and Majesty by Juan Yosefat Ben Ezra, a converted Jew. So first of all, he lies there. Translated from the Spanish with a preliminary discourse by the Reverend Edward Irving, AM. Uh, volume 1, published by... You know, you can see all the stuff there. I'm not going to get into all that. Um, but look at the preface here to this edition. All right. I'll read this paragraph here. The third paragraph down, it says, Ben Ezra is the pseudonym, I guess they mean pseudonym, for a Roman Jesuit priest named Manuel de la Cunza. This information will occasion many Protestant, Protestants to read no further, but bear with us a while before shutting the book. I would avow this before you, the reader, if Luther was correct in demanding sola scriptorum and... Would we dare deny that? Then Lacusa may be, might, may be taken as a model of those that would follow Luther's clarion call. If ever a Christian author was to insist absolutely on the veracity and primacy of the Word of God, these pages show such a one. I doubt that. Indeed, one of the prime reasons for his work was to rebut the centuries-old claims of the doctors of the church who sought to put the church in the position of the Jews both now and during the end times. Lacunza takes us back again and again to the inerrant word of God and sweeps away 12 centuries of replacement theology to show again the teaching of the early church and the scriptures. For these reasons, and despite the support of his peers who read the work, the Catholic Church banned the book. Okay, it was banned because of he was going against replacement theology. It was not banned because it was quote-unquote pre-trib. Let me show you. Two paragraphs down from that. Look at this. His position has been described technically as futurist post-tribulational. Okay, uh, I guess the posties can't read beyond the preface. Um, I mean, who came up with this thing? Oh, it's pre-trib, it's pre-trib. It's the guy that wrote the preface to the thing said it's post-tribulational. Um, you know, eventually I'll get around to reading the whole thing, but right in the in the preface, the preface, post-tribulational, just like the Catholic Church teaches. The final time of purification for the church. Yeah, so don't fall for this nonsense that the Jesuits created the pre-trib rapture. Total lie. Just read the preface. It's not the pre-trib rapture. Post-trib. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.